This is John W. Whitehead, author of Battlefield America, The War on the American People, bringing you a message about the state of our nation. When I founded the Rutherford Institute 34 years ago, I was young and idealistic. Most of what I knew about the workings of government law I learned in a book or at school. 34 years later, I'm not so young anymore and a lot more realistic about what it really means to be vigilant about our freedoms. Here's what I've learned. This isn't a job for just one man or one woman. It takes help from others. And we've been blessed over the years to have a lot of good people working with us to protect our freedoms. To those of you who continue to work alongside us, thank you very much. Freedom isn't always comfortable or popular. You have to really believe in it. You really have to want it for it to survive. Freedom won't last long among a citizenry that takes its bread and circuses, its distractions, more seriously than its civic duty. No matter how noble the effort or critical the issue, there's always a price to be paid for standing up to injustice and challenging wrongdoing. Eternal vigilance is necessary for freedom to prevail. For every victory against injustice, there will be a dozen more battles that need to be fought. We cannot afford to stop paying attention, standing guard, or taking alarm when efforts are made to undermine our basic freedoms. If we stand together, and this is key, tyranny wouldn't stand a chance. There are 319 million of us in this country. Imagine what we could accomplish if we actually worked together, presented a united front, and spoke with one voice. As the old Texas Ranger motto proclaimed, no man in the wrong can stand up against a fellow that's in the right and keeps on a coming. In other words, we may not win the battle for freedom today. We may not win it tomorrow. But if we stay in the battle, if we do not back down, if we refuse to give up, we'll get there before long. On behalf of the Rutherford Institute and all those who look to us for help when their freedoms are under fire and taken away, thank you for keeping us in the battle. For more information about the Rutherford Institute, visit us at www.rutherford.org.